It's October 3rd, 2016, and it's time to review five of the most outrageous, infuriating, or just plain baffling things that have happened lately. It's your Face Palm 5. Let's count them down. Number 1. Cruz endorses Trump. Hey, remember when Ted Cruz refused to endorse Donald Trump because he said he couldn't endorse someone who had personally attacked his wife and his father? Well, he got over it. Cruz recently announced that he has forgiven Trump, who has never apologized, and that he will vote for Trump in November because he feels that Trump is preferable to Hillary Clinton. And also because the party was pressuring Cruz to unify with Trump and he didn't want to lose his Senate seat in a couple of years. He didn't actually say that, but it might have had a tiny little bit to do with it. Who knows? I'm only guessing. Number two, Gary Johnson exposes himself. Libertarian presidential candidate and your dad's kooky but mellow older brother, Gary Johnson, recently declared that he believes climate change is real and caused by human activities, but he doesn't think we should do anything about it, especially if that would involve raising taxes, because the sun is just going to engulf the earth in a few billion years anyway. So what's the big? A few days after that, Johnson was asked on TV by Chris Matthews to name a world leader who inspired him, and Johnson couldn't think of anyone. He blanked on a Miss America question, yet again revealing himself to be not a serious candidate for president. So all I have to say to my conservative friends and family is, how is Donald Trump better than this guy? What the fuck are you people doing? Number three, transphobes want trans folks to ask before using the bathroom. The Ask Me First campaign is a new effort designed to make it as difficult as possible for trans folks to comfortably use public restrooms. It was started by the Family Policy Alliance, and with a name like that, you just know that they're up to something awful. According to the campaign's website, quote, there's a growing trend among our nation's politicians to allow men to enter women's spaces, public bathrooms, showers, locker rooms. Except, no there's not. Trans women aren't men. They're women. It's right there in the name. And they're the marginalized ones in this context, not cis people. The only question that trans people should be asking cis people who have a problem with them using the bathroom is, do you want to move out of the way so I can pee? or do you want me to move you? Number four, pro-Trump trolls troll polls. Last week, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump had their first one-on-one -on -one presidential debate, and it was one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen. If it had been a pro fight, it would not have been allowed to go the distance. Clinton slaughtered Trump, revealing him to the entire world as the ignorant, thin-skinned, bullying, bigoted, big mouth that he has always been. Though not everyone thought so. The day after the debate, it was reported that trolls from 4chan and Reddit had flooded online opinion polls with pro-Trump votes in order to create the false impression that Trump had actually won the debate in the minds of most viewers. I wonder, did the trolls employ such pathetically transparent tactics to convince the rest of us that Trump had done a good job? Or were they trying to convince themselves? Number five, Trump supports eugenics. Speaking of Donald Trump, it turns out he's an even bigger piece of shit than you thought he was. I know. Last week, Frontline debuted its episode about the 2016 presidential election, The Choice, where it's mentioned briefly near the beginning that Donald Trump is quite probably a eugenicist. Huffington Post then pulled a bit more on this thread and published an article that argues pretty persuasively that Trump and his family believe that there are certain people who are just genetically superior to other people. Isn't it interesting that everyone who seems to believe this stuff always puts themselves in the superior group? When I look at Donald Trump, I don't see someone who exhibits any of the qualities that eugenicists typically covet, so I guess all of Trump's superior genes are recessive. That's five. Catch you later. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron for as little as $1 a month. But if you pledge at the amount of $5 a month or more, you get yourself a shout out at the end of the Face Palm 5. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.